Where are we going? from snow in St. Louis to rain here in Orlando, but we just made it to our townhouse. So I want to take you in, give you a tour, show you around. And then after this, we are going to head to Disney Springs to Summer House on the Lake. Funny story, the reason I booked this entire trip to Orlando is because Summer House on the Lake just opened in Disney Springs, I want to say in like December. And so I went ahead and booked a reservation to the restaurant and then everything else was like, it was like a trickle down effect. Then the flights got booked, the um, Verbo got booked, the rental, all of that got booked after I made a restaurant reservation. So I'm super excited to see like what kind of food they have and to see if it was even worth this entire trip. But um, first, let me go ahead and give you all a tour of this townhouse. All right, so here is the inside. Just walked in. We got the kitchen to the right-hand side with this little gather sign, super cute. Um, but here's the sinks and of course cabinets. We got plenty of cups and oven microwave and the refrigerator is back here so we are in the bella vita community um dining room table beautiful artwork on the wall sectional and a huge mirror here a couple of seats let's take a look out here I'm not going to open it right now, but um, out here is the pool. We'll come back and look at this. But nice size pool. It is raining today. Um, uh, that is not good. The netting is falling in. Also, I do want to make note that the... Um, also, here is the TV, TV stand, but let's go upstairs. Also, I do want to make note that the pool heater was broken by the previous guest. So um, temperature is gonna be extremely low here in Orlando. So like a high of 70. So we definitely need a heater. Um, artwork on the wall. So I'm just coming upstairs, turning on all the lights. So here is the first bedroom on the right. We have the Fab Six here on the wall. Mickey rug and this is very very cute it's a little bunk bed has steps here and a tv on the wall it's like in a weird place though um and then the closet which is also in a weird place because how are we supposed to get in there but um looks like blankets and pillows extras up there but see yeah, it's super cute and themed so I'm gonna back out of here and go to the next room. This is also on the right. And this is another bedroom. TV, ceiling fan, and a small closet. I don't know what's with these closets, why they're blocked by things, but we have blankets up here. All right, so I'm gonna come out of here and go. Okay, so this is the bathroom. And this is me. Um, sinks, toilet, shower. Now they did say that they do not supply uh, washcloths, so we're gonna have to go pick some up from Walmart. Fire extinguisher. And then here is next bedroom 
So here is the bed. And this random mirror. I don't know. That's weird. Um, closets, some more blankets, and oh, not blankets. Oh, yes, it is. Blankets and pillows. Um, also, a pack and play if you need that. Oh, and this is convenient. This um, little gate for the top of the stairs. That's nice. But nice size TV. And let's take a look here. So here is the master bathroom. We got the sink. Toilets. Love these blue flowers. And then the shower. Okay, so I just came back downstairs. I forgot some things down here. So um, right across from the kitchen. So the kitchen and dining room is here. Right across is the laundry room. So we have... A washer and dryer and then a high chair which we do not need but ironing board iron beach towel laundry basket all of that and then this is the front door here so to the left of the front door is a half bathroom so toilet and sink but yes that is the tour of our townhouse let me actually try to open this so you can see on the outside all right so here is the outside i just got my um the door opened up but here is the pool um it looks pretty dirty not a fan of that a couple of chairs tables and it is raining it is raining but um yeah this is the pool wish it was cleaner but uh yeah this is what we are working with this week here is this your room yeah. you love it yeah, climb up here. you climb up there oh i forgot to show you all the mickey lighting up there the hidden mickey you love your room yeah you gonna sleep in here yeah I'm <laughs> why you got your shoes on in the bed child <laughs> what is this one finger are you at a baptist church <laughs> <laughs> what is this one finger about <laughs> <laughs> like Miami vibes it's very very cute in here um, I will say it did take a while for the server to greet us and bring us water and take our order and everything um, but we did place some order for some drinks some appetizers and our dinner because it's dinner time now um, but we will let you know how it tastes we will probably be going to the cookie bar as well after to pick up some cookies um, it's a lemon one that I really want to try so yeah, and then after here, we're probably gonna go to the World of Disney, do a little shopping, but um, yeah, just stay tuned for what we think about our food. Hey guys, so this is the next morning. Sorry we did not check back in with you after our dinner, but I kind of wanted to just recap what we thought about the restaurant. And um, this is actually gonna be, after this is gonna be the start of the next day's vlog. So as far as what we thought of Summer House on the Lake, I thought the ambiance was really, really cute. I love the all white, the greenery. It was really, really nice. The wicker chairs, it was just giving summertime and I love that. Um, as far as our service, let's talk about that. So it took maybe 10, 15 minutes for our server to even recognize us that we were sitting at the she table. Walked, she walked past us like four times. 50 times. Uh, it was a lot. table next to us sat down after us and it seemed like they got service right away. Uh, yeah. So we ain't gonna talk too much about that, but yeah. it took a minute. But once she was, once she came to our table and recognized us, then she was really, really nice. So oh, yeah. I won't take that away from her. Um, 
too much. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> let's talk about our appetizer. So we got the cheesy puffs. It's like this bread with like cheese in the middle. What did you think about that? Oh, it was pretty good. Uh, we didn't eat all of it. Uh, so it was all right. It wasn't great, but it was something to eat for a second. It wasn't, it wasn't great. It wasn't bad. It was average. I'll say that the cheesy bread was super hard. It was like hard as a rock. I did not like it whatsoever. The inside, it tasted eggy. Like the consistency was eggy mm. to me. Jordan liked that she broke it up. She broke the outside up and started eating the inside. So she like that's what she do with bread anyway, but. I was expecting more like a fluffy inside with like cheesy, kind of like pulley cheese, but it just was not that. It was like really hard and I did not like that. Right. We also got the truffle fries. Yeah. Um, the truffle fries were, I think, like $17, $15, $17. And that wasn't worth That really wasn't worth it. They, it the was fries not. was like in and out fries. <laughs> they were real thin. Uh, they wasn't hot for real at all. And they just sprinkled some cheese on top. Yeah, uh, they were not hot. The fries were like hard, kind of like they were just sitting in the back. Right. Um, so I did not like the fries. <laughs> Um, let's talk about our drinks. So I got the Summer House uh, Margarita. Margarita is always going to be on point for me. The saltier, the better. I love me a margarita. So yeah. that was on point. And he I got the uh, endless, endless summer, old fashioned. That was pretty good. I mean, you can't go wrong with both of the drink we had is drink you really can't mess up for real. So that was pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, and Jordan just got a lemonade. Pretty basic. Pretty basic lemonade. Um, our entrees. So he got the fish tacos. Yeah, and they were pretty good. Uh, not the not the greatest fish tacos I've ever had, but that was pretty good. A lot of stuff was expensive too. So we'll talk about later how we rank that as far as the cost compared to high taste, but it was all right. It wasn't nothing to write home about at all. I thought the fish tacos were really good. The ingredients were fresh. Um, it came with like a pico de gallo and then like a hotter salsa. It was softly good, a little green, hotter, spicy sauce. It was good, the, the sauce the, made it good. The fresh guacamole. Now the guacamole did come as an appetizer too. If you wanted to order that, I would not have ordered it as an appetizer. It was expensive but though, wasn't it? It was very expensive. You could order crab with it, which was like, an additional thirteen dollars on top of the eighteen dollars so that you get. Would have been like forty dollars for some guacamole, but um, just the guacamole with the tacos was really really good. I thought it was good. I got the what is it tequila lime chicken, chicken. tacos. Yeah. Those were really good to me. He wasn't really like a fan of it. It was like cold. I thought it was going to be warmed up chicken. It was like out of, fresh out the refrigerator and they just put it in a tortilla. It wasn't good to me and it was hard. Yeah, I ain't like it. <laughs> Yeah, I liked it. And again, it came with the pico de gallo, a different type of hot sauce that came with mine, um, but it was really good. And then also guacamole yep. and fresh cilantro, fresh greens. It was really, really good to me. Uh, <laughs> and then Jordan, she got the kids macaroni and it came with fresh berries. And then she got a side to go with it. So she got the fries, fries yeah. same type of fries that came with the- um, Exactly the same with the what truffle are, fries the truffle yeah, fries the same one so we probably should not have gotten the truffle no. fries um did you like your macaroni you did not like it we tasted it, it was okay it wasn't i mean it was white sauce uh when we go to bed i want to have waffles you want okay. waffles Next instead okay yeah the, it was they had pancakes they had a pancake um breakfast, breakfast for dinner type meal so that's probably what she would like but she had her mindset on getting a donut from Everglaze. So she really was not even feeling the macaroni at all. At all. Um, but we did get a dessert. So I told you all before how we basically booked this vacation based off of a reservation with this restaurant, Summer House on the Lake, because I really wanted to try it out since it was brand new brand in new, yeah. Disney Springs. So we told the manager that and he actually comped our dessert. So we got two cookies. We got the lemon cookie and um crispy. the crispy chocolate chip cookie so the lemon cookie was extremely sweet it tasted just like uh simply lemonade lemonade but in a cookie form it was like overly sweet uh chick-fil-a not simply chick-fil-a lemonade is real sweet so that's how the cookie tasted like completely very like lemonade. very sweet and then it was like a glaze, glaze on top too so it was like sweeter. sweetness on top of sweetness 
I was not a fan of the cookie. Now the um, crispy chocolate chip one, that one was pretty good. Now these are some nice size cookies. They are huge cookies. Yeah. Um, so you get a bang for your buck for what you're paying for the cookies. Jordan is opening chips right now. She yeah. is impatient. Look at him, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she was eating the Rice Krispies off of, the, off of the top of the cookie. So she liked that one. And then the, the chocolate chip was just like a regular. It didn't taste like too fancy of a chocolate chip cookie. The chocolate chip was regular, but the crisp, the rice krispie treat on top of it made it different than any other chocolate chip cookie. So yeah. it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I will say now this is the comparison that everyone always makes between Gideon's and the new Summer House on the Lake um, cookie bar. I will say for me personally. I will stay in a virtual queue with Gideon's for three hours to get those cookies as opposed so, to but she hasn't, the But she haven't tried any other cookie other than the cookies and cream from Gideon's. So I don't even know how she, but the cookies it's and cream so is worth it. Uh, I didn't have other cookies from there and they all pretty good. So yeah, they better than the, the cookies that we had. They're last thicker, night. they're moist, they, I don't know, you can just cut like a fourth of it off and eat that and then save the rest for a later occasion. Like yeah. they are so and both, good. And both of them got, like you said, they both got good size. The ones that we got last night was more as rounder and then the ones from Gideon's are like just thicker. They just real thick cookies. They not as like large from a circumference standpoint, but they thick cookies and you kind of cut them like and eat it like a, a cake, cookie cake. But it's and really then good. Gideon's has a whole experience just going inside the decor. It's just really, really nice. But I do like Summer House on the Lake, the summer theme there. Yeah. But the big question is, was this worth booking a whole Orlando vacation to go to Summer House on the Lake? No, uh, <laughs> like so. I, my love for Orlando would say yes, just because it's always good to be down here. It's always a reason to book a trip to Orlando. Yeah, so that's why I said it ain't. I won't like say, but just to just to come down. We were just coming here to go there and then leave the next day. Then absolutely not. Uh, so the food was average. The service started off as average. The manager made up for it by coming to the table and kind of speaking to us and giving us the cookies. So that made it a little bit better. But the restaurant overall- I will say like, like the, the type of food that they have is very, very similar to the Boathouse to me. That we, that we and the Boathouse, we go to every single time we come to Orlando and the food is just so, so good. And it's expensive too, but it's, it's more worth it on that side. You're going to pay some money going to these Disney anyway. restaurants, but um, I would not say we would probably go back to Summer House on the Lake. Not if I had one time deal. Maybe we would go to try a different cookie, but the restaurant, yeah, we, we don't have to go there no more. Yeah. So this is going to end today's vlog. This is our first vlog of our trip. I'm sorry it kind of trickled into the next day. So, so you're catching are, our second day outfits. Right, you're going to see these outfits <laughs> in the next video. But um, Jordan is tearing up his chips. She's just here for the ride. So we're going to go ahead and close it out. Make sure you stay tuned for the next vlog. We are going to another restaurant, our favorite restaurant. That we go to in every faithful. city. We go Don't to say what city. it is. I'm not going to say it, Don't but we go to every is. city if you know us then you know you didn't seen it before yeah and then do some shopping um i don't know where the wind is going to take us today this the was supposed gloomy, to be, but we'll be right. yeah this was supposed to be our beach day and the weather is gloomy it's cool so we got our hoodies on um so yeah wherever the wind takes us today but make sure to like comment subscribe we'll see you next time peace <laughs> <Enjoy>. <laughs>